Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, y'all. So, Hassan Campbell is still out here going in. I'll say it like that. And I'm going to play a clip with him with a cast on. I won't show y'all the audio, but I mean, the video is just here the audio. Shout out to Urban Politics TV as well. I know it's not easy. I got footage that I ain't even put up yet. With the taking the bullet out of my box, out of my back. You see that gold pad right there? It's bloody. I don't really want to take it off because that's blood. You see the bullet wound? It traveled to my back. That's where they took the bullet out. Y'all see the bullet wound? Don't tell me nothing, man. I held it down. I just hope you niggas can hold it down. Now, again, this all this stems from him going to his old projects last week and saying, y'all care about Cassie, but y'all ain't got love for me. Let me keep going. Niggas sitting up there controlling my, my narrative. Nah, my life is real like that. Y'all niggas mad because a nigga could actually go to the hood the way I did. <laughs> and see the crazy part about... But here's the thing, right? Let me stop it right there real quick. When the sign went to the hood, he got shot, allegedly, right? So what, what was the purpose of all that? Let me keep going. That is right. The, so the, the real well is that y'all know I'm going back to the hood, right? Y'all know I'm going back, right? So now when I go back to the hood, now y'all know when I'm really shot. When I go back, see the difference is, when I went to the hood the last time, I was drunk as a skunk. I was breaking down. I ain't go there to hurt nobody. I was really hurting myself. I was crying out for help. The hood should nice no more. Oh, y'all done created a monster. I'm just going to stop it right there. So this is Hassan Campbell, people. Now... A lot of stuff Hassan would make content on, I would actually agree with, but I can't, I can't get with this, man. You didn't put your life in danger. You didn't put your brand in danger. You didn't put your kids of not having a father in danger, and you don't care. You still wanting to go back for what? Hassan, you beat the, you beat the system. What's the issue? You said you've been online. You done made 60000 a month, 40000 a month. What's the issue? Like what do you what what do you want people to do? You know, you said you claim you drinking the devil's piss and you online and you ready to crash out, but crash out about what? Is it something that happened with you in your childhood? Get you some therapy, man. What is going on? And what is going on with these bloggers, man? It's unfortunate that this is society we live in. Me and my homeboy was just talking about that. A couple of days ago that you you damn near gotta act the fool just to get certain views and it don't have to be like that man just be you you already was at close to a half a million followers on facebook i mean on youtube but then all of a sudden you want to crash out because cassie got a settlement with diddy when i had absolutely nothing to do with you yes you alleged that stuff happened with African, you and African been bought against your will. You did that. You did your part. You had a half a million. You could go at his neck every day if you really wanted to. So what is your issue with the project, man? These people, that's not their responsibility, Hassan. The responsibility is to fix yourself. And for the people who listen, man, you can't rely on nobody else, man, for nothing. You in the hood, you crying, you drunk. But about what? Why? You got a nice house in New Jersey. You said you're making more money in a month than sometimes people that where you from making a year. So what's the issue? You know, the thing about this this whole internet game is a lot of times people not happy with enough. Hassan, you're alive, your kids alive. You making good money. You work for yourself. You independent. Why, why crash out? Go get you some therapy, man. 
what you gonna go back to the hood and prove what? Because next time again, what happens if your TV get turned off, as you say? It just don't, man. I swear the internet is. Y'all remember when when Flavor what was it Flavor of Love and all them shows came out back in the day? That's pretty much what internet is now. It was all reality TV. To the point where you don't know what's real and what's fake anymore. But that's just my quick two cents about it. What y'all think?